A new yep. media research centre study exposes NewsGuard. Now, that's a company in operation which rates media companies. MRC has exposed its leftist bias. MRC President Brent Bozell joins me now. Brent, are you telling me that the media is more leftist than we originally thought? No, you know, here's what's going on, which, which is interesting, sir. Um, for years and years and years, the, 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 the media have been telling the American people that they were objective when they were left wing. And a new conservative media is starting to emerge. So now you've got this group that considers it, that, that calls itself objective, making the declaration that you can trust 91% of left-wing organizations, but only 65 percent of conservatives. So by two to one, uh, you, you can you can you can defend them, or you can uh, you can trust them more than you can trust conservatives. So this is just a new way to attack conservatives. Mm, I can see that. Another one. We've got a new poll, and it shows 20 percent of black voters would pick someone else instead of Biden or Trump in 2020. Well, Biden received 92 percent of the black vote back in 2020. Uh, if this trend continues, black voters away from Biden, he can't win, can he? No, no, this, this is potentially catastrophic news uh, for, for Joe Biden. Um, according to, to studies, you, you, they can't win. The lowest that he's ever, uh, uh, Democrats ever gotten is something like 80, 85 percent. He can't win if he doesn't have that support. He got 92 percent in, uh, in 2020, but he's polling right now at 71 percent. This is catastrophic. So 20 percent would vote for uh, someone else besides Biden and Trump. It has no, nothing to do with Donald Trump. Trump is at double the number that he was with blacks in 2020. So his incre he's increasing rather dramatically. It's Biden who's being hurt, not Trump. Uh, but Biden, if those numbers hold up, I don't think there's any way Biden can win re-election. We've been taking a close look at that uh, recent Iowa poll, uh, the Seltzer poll, as a matter of fact. We dug into it. And we found that uh, Trump is preferred by 63% of first-time caucus goer Republicans. I know that's a narrow sort of demographic, but 63% support, up from 49% support from that group just a few, a few weeks ago. That is a landslide statement. Trump is on his way to victory. You know something? It Go ahead. Yeah. So something interesting here. In, in 1996, I recall uh, very well that Bill Clinton was off the national stage and got stronger and stronger and stronger from a very weak position and won a landslide. Donald Trump seems to be doing the same thing. Donald Trump was on the stage every single day in 2020, and I think that hurt him. Now he's not on the stage, and look what's happening. His, his support is going up and up and up. If I were advising him, I'd tell him, go play golf in Scotland and come back on Election Day. Yeah. If he wins Iowa and then wins New Hampshire, where he's in the lead, it's all over. Brent Bozell, thanks very much for joining us. I know we'll see you again soon. Good man.